Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel and to this video which will probably be the last on this series at least for quite a while. I've uh, put on the tissue as you know from the previous chapter and I've done, I've done two layers of uh, the glue and water on all the, on all the surfaces to try to make it as watertight as possible. I think it looks good already, but of course the big thing is missing which is the squadron markings and the aircraft markings and also the, um, the camouflage markings. For the squadron markings I am going to go with what we have on the plan, which I believe, if I am not mistaken, is squadron KX, or squadron markings KX, which is uh, the Czechoslovak squadron 311. As you might or might not know, there were quite a, a high amount of aviators coming from Czechoslovakia that fought also in the RAF. So, as I'm also located in the former Czechoslovakia, so in Czech Republic, then I think it's a, it's a very good coincidence and I've decided to go for, for those kind of markings. I did consider other markings, but maybe those will come then in other, in other models if I ever do another model of these, which I'm not sure. So, the, the big challenges that I'm going to have now are for sure the color because what I'm seeing of the colors uh, the, the natural color that I have on the paint is this darkish brown but the, the real markings seem to be a pale brown so big challenge is I'm going to have to mix the paint and I'm completely new to paint on these models so I'm not good at it so I'll probably take that brown color try to mix it a bit with white and make it a bit paler and let's see what comes out the challenge that I see from that is that I'm going to have to mix all the paint together and do all the painting, the camouflage painting, all in one fell swoop because I'm not sure I'll be able to match that same tone again. So that's going to be the, the big challenge. For the green, I'm thinking I might go with the natural green, which is well, not the natural green, it's the green that I have in the pot actually. So I won't do any more mixing, so I'll be doing that then later. So that is then the, the first big challenge and I'm not sure how I'm going to face it. Um, then the other other challenge, which is maybe not so bad, but it's also time consuming, is going to be to, to do the roundels. Luckily, already the designer, which was uh, Harold Towner, already put the roundels in here. So here we have the roundels for the fuselage, we have also the roundels, I believe this is the top part of the, of the wing, and over here we have the lower part of the wing. So from that perspective, I seem to have the roundels at least already drawn in. So I'll probably be using those as it's going to be then the, the, the easiest way. I believe these are the low visibility, so night operations, so no big yellow and white circles or yellow circles around the, the fuselage roundel. So let's see, let's see how that works. So those are the, the challenges uh, that are going to come and I'll probably be doing a bit of, of each at the moment. The big scary part is, as I say, painting the brown camouflage markings. First of all, I'll mark it probably with pencil on the wings, trying to emulate following the pictures on that I can find on the internet. And then when I feel brave enough and I have a lot of time um, in one, one, one continuous session to do the whole painting. So we'll see how it goes. I finally gathered up the courage to go with the painting. What I've done so far, I've drawn with some pencil and I'm sure you can't see it because I can't hardly see it either. The markings following the pictures that I see on the internet for the, for the camouflage markings. And I've mixed some brown paint with some white which will give me a bit of a paler color. If it's exact or not, I don't think so, but at least it's a shade paler than the, than the one I did before. So let's see if it's, uh, if it's good enough. And also I hope it's, it's enough uh, quantity. I do recall that it had quite good covering let's say, capabilities, so I hope it's enough to cover then what I need to cover. So follow me on this one, a bit of a new thing for me, but uh, as always something new.
So this is a little bit of a marathon. Uh, my, my back hurts already from bending over the, the model. Uh, I think the paint is coming on okay, like it is covering. I might need to do a bit of a, of, of get, going back and, and fixing it a little bit, but uh, I think it's coming on okay. Um, it is the third layer of something that protects it. it being acrylic paint, it should help also with, um, with the waterproofing of it. So let's see, I still got, I think I will have enough paint. There are quite big surfaces actually that I'm covering, like on the wing. I still have to do the whole fuselage and also the, the nose part, which is a bit more complicated. And then I'll also try to paint over the, the elevator and the stabilizer to see if it can be more or less the same color. Let's see how that goes. And here's the update with the green paint already on it. Still a bit wet as you can see because it still wrinkles up the tissue. Um, it's been much easier because I'm I'm not pending on the on the mixture that I had because it's directly out of the pot so I could take some breaks. It was it was easier. I was also sitting down which was easier. That's why I didn't film it. Um, I was standing before so you could see the progress somehow. Um, I've painted things in you might realize that here the window I've painted it in because even if on the model the window goes almost right up to the cockpit on the documents that I find on the photographs it seems to finish somewhere at the leading edge if somebody knows you can let me know in the comments of course um, but anyhow as I say so the green the green cover is also on uh, maybe not completely scale but uh, but I think it looks much better than than other models that I've done before so I'm happy about it I might still fix it up a little bit but now the next step is going to be to figure out what color to paint the cowlings. They have to be brown, so they're already brown, so I'm not sure exactly how I'll do that. Maybe a, a paler brown. Uh, and then also the, the roundels and the squadron markings. Maybe just a comment as I think I did mention before that I would not put the yellow roundel or the yellow visibility roundel. Um, all the documentation that I'm finding now on the internet actually points that it did have that yellow roundel. So I probably will do it with that and I'll put on the markings here of M for Mike maybe and then KX which is the, the Czechoslovak bomber squadron that, uh, that somehow is depicted here. So that's going to be then the next step, a lot of cutting on paper and, uh, and using the compass and things like that. But so far the paint, I think it looks okay. As painting freehand is not my strength and especially holding the aeroplane in one hand and the brushing another, both freehand, is difficult. What I do for the roundels, I cut them out of tissue paper as I have colored tissue paper and then I stack them in together with a pin and then what I will do, I will use some, some glue, some stick glue, it's the first time I'm going to do it on this model and then glue them together and then I'll be putting them the roundels on the wing on the both on both wings on the upper side apparently on the markings there's no round underneath for camouflage i suppose and then also on the rear side of the fuselage so those are the four roundels that i have so these two are for the fuselage these are for the upper wing and uh, and that will be almost ready then the next step will be also to cut out the lettering the lettering that we have here which is i'm going to say it, it's mkx m is like the designator for the for the airplane and KX is the squadron mark. And here she is, pretty much finished. Just uh, maybe some few details that might still come. I'm now working on the, on the little radio antenna that I want to put in here. Not that it's needed, I don't think it would last anyhow, but uh, just for fun. Um, everything painted over, uh, the markings are there. Not perfect as I'm cutting them out by hand of course. Got there the KX and M for Monkey, I believe it is. Then it turned into Mike, but I believe at this time it was still M for Monkey. And uh, there's the Wellington, Wellington 1C from, uh, I think I've marked it as 311 Squadron, Czechoslovak Squadron. And uh, pretty much ready to go. Not quite, because I still have to do one layer of lacquer, but that's going to take me some time because I want to do some masking so I don't fog up the 
the canopy and the and the windows on it and I'll do that when when I'm alone at home because it's quite a smelly process and uh, then also the weight and balance I have it now on the landing gear configuration that looks more realistic but uh, the weight and balance is not really fitting with this and I'll show you now in a minute why and uh, but I'll, be work I'll, I'll present that on the next video probably so let me just fire it up once more so that you see it and you see also the weight and balance issue that I have at the moment there so activating the throttles let's see the ailerons if they turn a little bit sorry no that was the rudder rudder I think you can see it can you see it not much but yeah, a little bit elevator let's see if the elevator goes up it does actually I'm quite happy with the elevator it seems stiff and quite a lot of throw not so much with the rudder and the ailerons let's see if they do not fall out sorry I'm again yeah one falls out as you see my typical problem I just need to glue it but uh, other than that they do move which is um, which is good um, so that's then the configuration and then for the engine you're going to see what I mean about the weight and balance okay there it is ouch I hope I didn't break it but anyhow weight and balance is that it's uh, it's at this in this configuration it's nose heavy with a uh, with the wheels like this and uh, I need to put it somehow I need to correct it so that it's uh, that it's stable enough to be able to fly but I'll do that then on the next presentation on the next video it is going to take some time because I I need to do some some trim flights and things like that and I'm lacking good weather and long grass so this might take well into spring I, I fear let's see if I see an opportunity I'll take it but this might take time so for the moment thank you everybody for watching thank you for following along thank you for all the tips and tricks that you've been sending and posting I really enjoy it and I learn from that and uh, I'll see you on the next video on the next project